I am shaking nervous right now. Uh, uh, this is not my, uh, my uh, normal venue of choice. I'm much more comfortable on the football field at six. Except for when I'm playing this guy. I'd like to just acknowledge Mr. Marcus Sherrills is here. He's the, he's the guy that cracked my rib my rib there. And uh, I know a lot of Vikings fans all uh, really appreciate him and, and love him being part of the team. Um, he's obviously kind of a local kid, and I think that's a really cool story. Um, and I appreciate you being here. Um, so you guys are going to have to bear with me. Um, this has been really unexpected. And um, the reason I'm so nervous is not because I can't talk into a mic. Um, this is like a culmination of a lot of people. And, um, you know, I've got Dennis, who does a great job for our foundation. But, um, you know, I've got Lindsay Mitchell, who became our PR director two weeks ago because who needs a PR director? I do now, right, for this thing. And Lindsay's worked her tail off for the past two or three weeks um, for free because she believes in what we're doing and she's a really special person. And there's so many people like that that have been in my life. And um, it's really cool to play on Sundays and cool for people to say, man, my friend plays for the Saints or my family member plays for the Saints and they get to come into New Orleans and do all the fun things. Um, but something like this feels so impactful. And um, so it's, uh, it's very humbling. And um, I just, you know, the pressure to do well on Sundays is something that's hard to explain to people, uh, especially as a specialist, because you maybe get like one or two chances. <laughs> and uh, that's hard to deal with. and. But when it comes to things like this, um, everybody that's cared about you when there was no reason to be cared about other than they just loved you because they loved you and wanted to support you and there was nothing to gain from it, um, I feel responsible to kind of honor those people. And um, so anyways, you'll have to bear with me here. So um, this script is not gonna happen to us. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm gonna start with what you give will grow. What does that mean? Uh, I had a, the, uh, I, like I said, I've had so many supportive people in my life. And um, when I was 22 years old, I went to, S I was at SMU in my senior year and I was thinking about coming out of college early. And we had a new coaching staff and that's why I didn't wanna go through the whole new deal. And I knew I had a chance to go to the NFL and I got to meet my new special teams coach, and he came out of retirement. He was 69 years old. His name was Frank Gans Sr., and he's one of the special coaches that's coached in the NFL. 25 years in the NFL, won a Super Bowl, and uh, Dick Vermeil said he's the greatest coach he's ever been around. And I had my senior year with arguably the greatest special team coach in the history 